Hello, welcome back. Sorry, I was looking. My husband is riding the girls around on the fuller. If you can probably hear that in the background, this thing picks up a lot of sound. But hi, <laughs> welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Whitney, and today I'm gonna be doing a meal prep video. Not like crazy lunch meal prep, but kinda we prep breakfast ahead of time just to make our life easier. I'm currently doing WW, so being prepared just helps, but also I'm gonna prep some breakfast for the girls and show you how I do that. I'm sure y'all can hear the full alert, it's right there. But let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, first up, I'm gonna prep some pancakes for the girls because I they always want pancakes in the morning and it's easier for me to just have them ready to go and just pop them in the microwave or the toaster. So I'm gonna do that. I just got this new griddle for Christmas and I've already used it like three times. I love it. John was even like, we're gonna take that to the beach with us when we go. So I'm gonna prep that. Also, I got a new egg bite maker back there and I'm excited to try it. We'll go along for the ride together because I have not used it yet. I don't even know how it works, but we'll figure it out. Kinsley is obsessed with Starbucks egg bites. And I usually make them in the Instant Pot, but it's such a hassle, honestly, getting that big thing out. So we're just gonna try to do that thingy. It's the big one, it makes like nine at a time. And then I'm gonna bowl some eggs, do that, chop some veggies, and just put some stuff together. Also, I need to organize my horrendous refrigerator because it looks it's look awful. And yeah, so let's get started. Okay, I'm just making box pancake mix. And then I have these sparkly chocolate chips that I got them a while back. I'm gonna drop in there, but that's all I'm gonna do. So let's mix this up, fly through this, and I'll show you how I store them in the fridge. Oh Lord, some bowls just fell. Okay, I got my batter all mixed up and I put it in one of my little, like I put it in one of these little thingies. Um, it just makes less of a mess. But I skimmed this in the Weight Watcher app and it is six points for three four inch pancakes, which is only 180 calories. That's not bad at all. But all I did in this, I fixed it just like it says on the box, which is just water and the stuff. And I added some vanilla extract. But so that's not bad if you wanted to have pancakes and you don't wanna have those nasty, like fake pancakes, that's still pretty good. So I'm gonna open these up real quick while I'm waiting on this to heat up, and then we will get started. Oh my God, my batter's growing or something. It's coming out of the top of my little batter squeezer. Wait, is that what that's called? A batter? What is that called? Um, Pancake batter dispenser? I don't know, sorry. <laughs> sorry, um, sometimes I keep them in here figure out how my own brain works. It's okay. Put some of these in a little bowl. So they're easy to grab. Oh, they're cute. They literally have like glitter on them. Oh. Do these remind you of the little troll from Trolls? Like the little the little silver one that like poops out. Um, Does it like poop out a baby or something? I don't know. Okay, let's get this going so I can show you how it goes and I can fly through the rest of them. And then I'm gonna get some eggs in the little rapid egg bowler thingy. So you just take some spray butter, doesn't matter what kind, spritz it on your griddle. Take your little, I think we're gonna call it pancake batter dispenser or whatever your bowl. <gasps> Did you see that? Oh my God. Um, is it too thick? What the world? I put how much water it said. Maybe there's like a suction or something. Y'all, nothing ever works out for me. Like this is so dumb. I just used this thing the other day and it worked just fine. We're just gonna shake them out. Now, if you wanna make them Weight Watcher friendly, just stop here and then flip them. Is that a four inch pancake? Probably. That's probably a four-inch pancake. But now they get all bubbly. I'm gonna go ahead and do some plain and flip it. That's red now.
put these in the fridge. So basically I just take, I take like paper towels and then I do them in like a single, oh, it's hot, those are hot still. I like a single layer, that one's huge, like this. And then another paper towel over the top. And then just keep doing that. Oh, that one, the chocolate. Ew, I mean like chocolate, I can't look at my finger. <laughs> okay. Keep going the same way. Same layer. Now, like that. And then you're gonna take your Ziploc baggie. Okay. Sorry. I you just, to like the can. You're just gonna shimmy. I'm just gonna shimmy my Okay, baby. You're just gonna shimmy this into your little Ziploc bag? Oh. Takes a minute. You can also put them in a container. I do that sometimes too, but I did not feel like doing that today. And I'm going to leave this open for now because these are so hot. But there you go. You just seal them up, put them in the fridge, and take them out whenever you want. You can also flash freeze them like this, which I do that too. You just lay them on like um, parchment paper line, like cookie sheet or plate or something, and put them in the freezer like single layered and let them freeze. And then you can take them out and put them in just like a regular supply bag down in the freezer. And it's just like those like little Eggo pancakes. Okay, so for the boiled eggs, we're gonna use this egg cooker. Usually I use my Instant Pot, but it's just a hassle to get that big thing out and do this. So this is the dash one. I'll link it in the description box. So you take the egg, it comes with this little measuring cup, and it has like a little needle on the end of it. And you take the bigger end of the egg, and you just stab a hole in it like that, and place it in there. So let's get all six of these done. Okay, I got all those done. I'm gonna put the cat back on the little needle thing so my kids don't get get stabbed. And then on here it has like, you can't really see it, but like hard boiled, medium boiled, soft boiled. I'm doing hard boiled, so I'm gonna fill the water up to there. Then you just pour it on the little heat plate thingy underneath that little white thing. You put the little lid on, isn't this thing cute too? You put the little lid on it, Plug it in and you just push the button and then let it fly and then you have boiled eggs. Okay, so I haven't used this yet. This is the little dash egg bite mold thing. This is the family size one. Um, it just looks like a little griddle kinda. Then it comes with these, with nine of these little silicone cups. So you just arrange them. So I'm gonna make this how I would normally make my egg bites and go from there. So I'm gonna do six eggs in this blender cup. Six, six eggs in my blender cup. Okay, I'm gonna get some milk. We happen to use Fair Life, it's just what we have. Um, I'm gonna do about three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of milk, and I'll put the points together after I make it, and then show you. Like I'll pop it up on the screen when I show you the egg bites. Now we're gonna go in with cheese. Um, I'm gonna use this because they gave me whole milk mozzarella. I mean, they didn't. They, for, they didn't give me the reduced fat mozzarella in my grocery delivery. So I'm just gonna use this, and um, I'm probably gonna like a quarter cup of this. Normally I do like cheddar or something, but I apparently like, forgot to order cheddar cheese. Okay, we'll just call that a quarter cup. Some mozzarella cheese, and then some salt and pepper, and we're gonna blend. My dad told me about, well, I knew about this, my dad told me the other day, and now he's obsessed with doing this on salt and pepper shakers. I just like to shake them. And some black pepper, some salt, I feel like my salt's not really working. Okay, black pepper. 
And then we're gonna blend this up in our little blender magic bullet cup. It said to spray these cups with some um, olive oil spray, so I'm gonna do that. It also said to use one of these cups to pour water in the bottom of this. So let's do that first. That's what it said to do. So let's just spray this with some oil. So now I'm going to divide this evenly between these cups. That was literally perfect. Six eggs was like perfect. So keep that like that. I'm gonna get out this bacon. It's like the already cooked bacon. Um, and I'm gonna get out one, two, three, five slices. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just do it like that. So now I'm going to get my little shears, wherever they're at. Probably in the dishwasher. Okay. I'm going to get my little shears and I'm going to cut this into like strips. Like this. Cut the strips into strips. The girls are in the bath. Y'all can probably hear them. Their bathroom's in the hallway, and it's like my AirPods pick up all the sound. Okay. Alright, so now you're just gonna divide this between the cups. A little bit. Why? So I'm sick for a while. I like to give them a shower to like wash them. Okay, I got all the bacon divided. Probably not as evenly as it needed to be. Now I'm just gonna close this, I guess, and plug it in. Okay, I guess we just let it go. I don't, that light's definitely on, so. Okay, we'll see what happens. Be back when this is done. Okay, so that was the timer on this little egg maker, so I'm gonna open it up. Oh my God, I don't even have the lid on there all the way. Mine didn't crack last night, so I'm gonna put these in some ice water and then we'll peel them after they cool down. Okay, so here we go. Just take them off of here, plunge them into your ice water. And I already have some in the fridge I made last night, so I'm not gonna make any more. But if you want to make some more, you can just go right on ahead and do the next batch. So let's wait on these to cool, and I'll show you how easy they should peel, because mine last night peeled like a dream. Okay, so one of these is done. <laughs> Only one of them, I don't know why. So I'm just gonna take this one out, so I don't want it to get overcooked. And I'm on the like, stir this around, I guess, let the water move around and close it again because these are almost done. See, there's like a little jiggly. So let's let that finish cooking and then the light's back on. Okay, you can kind of hear this thing still going, but I'm gonna take the one that was like, was cooked and see how it looks. Mm -hmm. 
and I did put these into the recipe builder on the WW app and it came out to one point for an invite. And also if you have the WW app, I'm gonna share like the link to the website where I made the web made the where I made the recipe. Sorry about my ice maker so loud. But where I made the recipe and you should be able to just click on it and like um, put it in your whatchamacallit, what you eat that day. In your little tracker. We'll see if this is good. I would have Kinsley taste that, but she's in the bathtub. She's the real egg bite taster. She loves them. Starbucks is her favorite. Next time I might cut the bacon a little smaller. Let's see. Mmm. They're good though. They're good. They'd even be really good, like, um, I think they need more cheese though, but they'd be really good like on some bread, like a sandwich or like a bagel. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay, so it took about 10 minutes for just this one to get done. I think it should be done after this. But I really like this thing. Look how easy that thing came out. And even when I do them in my um, Instant Pot, they always tear up. So I think this is a winner. Next one, I might put like a little more cheese. A third of a cup of cheese was the same amount of points as a quarter cup, so win it out more cheese. And cheddar cheese is really good because it has more flavor. But there's our egg bites all prepped. Okay, while well, we're still waiting on those to get done, I'm gonna peel these eggs. See how they peel? <gasps> oh, it should be good. Tell me that, that is not a beautiful thing to see. Like, look how it peeled like just butter off of the thing. Look, it just pops off. That's so amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna have all these things linked below, the griddle and then the, the griddle, the little egg maker and this, the little egg bite maker, because you can find it all on Amazon. So I'll just have it linked below. Also, I'll have um, the Weight Watchers things for these recipes linked if I made a recipe down below. So if you have the Weight Watchers app, you can always get access to that. And also, if you want to join the Weight Watchers app, I'll have that link below too. And I'll have it all labeled for you. I'm trying to get better about my descriptions. I'm not very good at doing the descriptions. And I know that, so New Year's resolution, get better. <laughs> your description box all right these are still these are peeling beautifully but we'll see if these are about done and then i'm gonna chop some veggies and that's all i have today for mail prep because jonathan's at home all week with us because he doesn't have to work the christmas week and so we'll probably just make lunches or whatever while he's home but there we go and kids birthday is this week but there we go eggs are peeled egg bites look um, done. Oh gosh, what done happened? Wait a minute. These things done rose and got like us. Oh Lord. Well, let's figure this out. Okay. I mean, they look good. They'll be good still. Let's get them off of here though. So they don't cook no more. Then we'll let these cool. I mean, it kind of looks like the Starbucks ones, right? The Starbucks ones have that color on top. That's crazy cool. Okay. There we go. Our egg bites are done. And yeah, let's chop some veggies. <clears throat> okay, these cucumbers, I'm gonna cut these real quick. I'm on to, I got this big bag from Sam's. I don't know, oh, okay. They're just like the little pickle cucumbers. I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna cut them like you would a pickle, just like long ways quartered. So like that. And then put them in a container. And once I get them all chopped, I'm gonna sprinkle them with some ranch powder. I saw this on TikTok and it's so good. And it keeps me from having to dip them in ranch. So I really like doing that. So I'm gonna get all these chopped and do that. and. I'll show you what they look like. And they don't have to sit very long in the fridge. And they're so good. Okay, all of them wouldn't fit. So 
I just chopped up enough to fit in the container. But I'm gonna go ahead and separate them and then sprinkle this half with the ranch powder real quick and toss it around. That way it's on the one on the bottom too. And then shovel back down. Another layer of cucumbers on top. And do it again. Now you literally just put them in the fridge like this, put a lid on them, put them in the fridge, and they come out and they taste like ranch and it's so good. So put the lid on that and then that's all my prep for the day. Okay, that's all I have for you today. I meal prepped some breakfast stuff and some snack stuff. Um, if Jonathan was going to work, I'd probably end up uh, prepping some lunch stuff too, but since he's off this week, I'll probably prep lunch stuff next week. But I'm gonna get all this cleaned up and go enjoy the family for a little while. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you subscribe, come join our family, come figure out what we're gonna do next, who knows. Um, have a wonderful day, bye.